So I think we just got about everything we need from Costco. Look at that, my that is huge. Gosh, now I have to go cook it all. <laughs> oh my gosh. A lot of you guys have been asking us about Finn. He is doing a little bit better. It's still not perfect. We got an appointment for him tomorrow. Yes, we could get him into the vet tomorrow, so they're gonna be checking him out. We'll keep you guys updated, but we're just grateful. We're gonna take him to the vet and see exactly what's going on. But thank you for all the sweet comments, the love. You guys are just the best. We are here at Costco, and you know what that means? Costco haul is coming your way. Oh yeah. So I am feeding 80 people <laughs> tomorrow. Yes, you heard that right, 80 people for our church youth group. We are doing a fun luau, and so of course I had to come to Costco to get the majority of the food, and we're bringing all of you guys with us. You guys, it's crazy to see. Not only do they have Halloween stuff out right now, but they have Christmas stuff out I already I know, well. check this out behind me. Look so at that. Crazy. Christmas wreath, Christmas trees back here. That is just so different for us to Halloween see. Halloween candy. Halloween candy's out. Candy. Right next to her is a bunch of Halloween costumes. Yeah, Costco is an awesome place for Halloween. Yeah, costumes. that is. That oh yeah, so that is true. Sure. Here's the game plan. So for the luau, one thing I love to do for large groups is cook crock pot style. Yeah. So we are doing pulled barbecue chicken sandwiches. So I'm getting all the meat and I'm going to cook it pre ahead of time tonight in crock pot, so I need a ton of chicken. I'm using a bottled barbecue sauce but then spicing it up with some other things. I'll show you later what I do with that. So barbecue sauce, chicken, rolls. I'm gonna be looking for Hawaiian rolls as well too. I don't know if they sell those here. We're gonna do half and half, half regular, half Hawaiian. And then we're gonna be making fruit kebabs. That's something. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be the best luau in the world. But it's so easy. A ton of stuff I can make ahead tonight or tomorrow. And then I'm gonna be doing a spinach, like a mandarin strawberry spinach salad as well. And then chips. So should be pretty simple, but we do need to pick up a ton of stuff. So let's head on over to the produce and the chicken and get chicken. calculated it and I need about 28 chicken breasts. That is a ton of chicken, this holy cow. It's a really great dill, 289 per pound. So I just need to calculate how many ounces I need of this, but I think this is gonna be my best dill. I found they do sell the King's Hawaiian rolls here. And this is such a good dill. For 32 rolls, it's 569. Yeah, that's a great awesome. deal. And these things are delicious. So like at the regular store for like a, just a 12 pack, these are like at least five Especially dollars. with the pulled pork sandwich on a luau, that's yes. like the most delicious roll in the I'm world. Pick up a couple of these and then see if they have some regular rolls as well. These are tea rolls. They're still warm, which is yeah, crazy. Fresh. And I like these because they are sliced already in half, which is super good. And nice. I love anything artesian. It's yeah. super good. I think it's only good. They don't have, I was hoping they have just like their dinner rolls, but I don't see any of those. So. Well, what I like about that is I think it's going to be unique and something that people don't usually have. Yeah. Costco has awesome deals on huge bags of spinach. Yeah, so, this thing is huge. Yeah, Yeah, that's a great deal. Next thing that we need to get you guys is fruit, and we need a lot of it. I need quite a few pineapples. It's a good thing we live in Florida. Just how much <laughs> each pineapple is here. These huge pineapples, two forty nine. Two forty nine, you guys. That is awesome. Wow, that's a great deal on pineapple. We're gonna put these in the fruit skewers for sure, and I'm also gonna use a few of these to decorate. Meaning some watermelon and strawberries for the fruit skewers as well. So I've been told that you can tell if a pineapple is ripe by if you pull on the leaves. This one's not coming out, <laughs> but it comes out pretty easy. Yeah, I've been right. told that too. If you be able to pull off and it comes off easily, that means it's ripe. Oh, there you go, winner. One. So you know the trick, right, on picking the perfect watermelon? Supposedly, if it's hollow, if you knock on it and it's hollow sounding, then it's supposedly more ripe. Or I've also heard bee stings as well. Oh. Okay. Stuff to serve 
have them in, and I feel like these are an awesome deal. Oh, yeah. Usually these are like four or five dollars, I feel like, at the grocery store. And this is a whole stack of 15. For 12 for bucks. 12. That's a steal. That's a steal. They also have the smaller size as well. Britt and I just walked past all the freezer food and I was joking with her that we probably should just get a freezer and pack it full of all the freezer food because it looks delicious. Brittany just got something she loves. Sorry, I just have to say this is our favorite jerky. It's the teriyaki pork jerky. Oh. oh, if you guys have not tried it, do yourself a favor and go get it right now. It's delicious. Korean barbecue, you guys. Yeah. So, so good. My big bags of mozzarella for our spinach salad. Such a good price. And oh yeah. We all know everyone loves cheese, so. Yeah, who doesn't love cheese, I especially need, mozzarella? It's like my favorite cheese. I need two big bags of this. I'm actually curious, what is your guys' favorite cheese? What's your favorite? Ooh, that's so hard. I think mine's Gouda. Really? Yeah. I love Swiss, it depends. If it's on a sandwich, <laughs> I like Swiss, I like provolone. Provolone like is bomb. Board. I like like a smoked Gouda, oh. like Parmesan. Oh my gosh. Cheese. Hard. Guys, comment down below. What is your favorite type of cheese? And maybe let's just say for a sandwich. Yes, sandwich. I'm making the salad dressing, so I actually need quite a bit of olive oil. So this is gonna be <laughs> perfect. I'm just gonna have to get three bottles, but I can just get this really big one instead. That is crazy. You're gonna be using that entire thing. Yeah. Wow. Almost entire thing. We're gonna look the exact kind I was looking for. The Sweet Baby Rays is on sale in a two pack. We actually need eight bottles of this. Oh my gosh. That's, a lot of <laughs> That's gonna be a lot of barbecue sauce. I'm also wanting to do some chips because you can't have a barbecue. Yeah, without you can't have a barbecue without chips. without chips, of course. I was hoping they had the Hawaiian barbecue chips. Yeah, right those are so good. so good. But I don't see them anywhere. I so know, we can't find them. I'm thinking. Sun chips. Oh yeah. And also just like a regular pack of classic glazes. Yeah, I think that's a great idea. So we actually talked about this in our last haul. What type of chips that you guys liked, whether it was classic, baked, or fun flavor. A lot of you guys actually said classic with Britney, and very few of you guys said that you like the fun flavor mix with me. So in short, tons of you guys unfortunately were wrong about what chips you liked. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I like the sunshine. <laughs> oh my gosh. The sunshine <laughs> or it could be the lightning capital of the world because there's so many lightning strikes here. I actually, my favorite sun chips are the Harvest Cheddar. Yeah. I also like original. Um, I've not tried French onion before. So I actually like the original the most. Really? Yeah. I'm actually curious which one do you guys like? One, two, three, or four? Or none of the above. Or none of the above. So I think we just got about everything we need from Costco. Look at that. My that is huge. Gosh. Now I have to go cook it all. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh well guys, this is quite a haul. Look how big and packed and full this shopping cart is. I'll tell you what, baby, the kids in that youth group are gonna love this. It's gonna be so fun, you guys. We are gonna have the ultimate Hawaiian luau. I gotta say, I think this is the least busy we've ever seen in any Costco ever. This is crazy. Maybe it's because it was raining outside, but there's like no one here. Full load coming in. <laughs> Watch out. Oh yeah, baby. We just got done with Costco and we missed the rainstorm. That's just another benefit of shopping at Costco. I'm just saying right now. Now we got to fit all of this stuff right here into our little car. We don't have a lot of trunk space. We don't have a lot of backseat space, but I think, I really Does hope- that mean we need a new car? That we are going to make it work. Yeah, we actually might need a new car. <laughs> We've had quite a few issues with this car. If you guys have not seen that, actually go check out our playlist, Car Troubles. But you know what? It's paid off. We're just going to keep using it until it dies. How about you try unlocking it for me? Oh yeah. Okay. I got to unlock it. And we are back home. It's actually been a few hours. <laughs> yes, we had a few more stops we had to make. We had to go by Publix, as you might see all this stuff back oh, here. So much stuff. I'm also making some sand cups, you guys. I don't know how fun this is. I'll show you tomorrow when they're done. But you take golden Oreos, you smash them up, you like blend them so they look like sand, and then you take like instant vanilla pudding. Oh, that's cool. And whipped cream and mix it, and then you layer it, and then put a little umbrella so it looks like a little like beach. <laughs> that's so awesome. So that's really cool. I'll be making those tomorrow. I got started on our barbecue sauce. 
So I took that Sweet Baby Ray's that I bought and then just added some garlic powder, some onion powder, some chili powder, smoked paprika, brown sugar, a little vinegar. You guys, it smells really, really good. It smells amazing in here. In fact, Finley keeps popping his head up every now and then. He keeps popping his head up. So I got two Instapots that I'm actually gonna put on slow cooker mode. So I'm gonna put these on for about four hours on high. Cross our fingers that we have shredded delicious chicken mm. at the end of this. So I'm doing one batch tonight. I'll put that in the fridge. I'm actually quadrupling the amounts one time and then I'm gonna quadruple tomorrow. <laughs> oh my okay. gosh. So eight times That is so much. It's a lot, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so I'm gonna go ahead. I got my chicken in here. I'm gonna pour some of this sauce over it. I'm gonna pour about half of it in here. And I'm gonna get these nice and coated, but then put on the lid and let this thing do its thing. Mm-hmm. And you guys, I will say, that's a pretty successful day. <laughs> Man, what a day. Tomorrow, I know. We got a lot of cooking ahead of us. Yeah, so make sure you come back tomorrow if you wanna see everything come together. Also, you guys, we're taking Little Finch to the vet, as we mentioned. Huh, his little sore is actually, it's opened back up. The scab came off of it, so, mm. so sad. So mm. we're definitely glad we're gonna take him to the vet and get that taken care of. But you guys, I think that is gonna do it for us tonight. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, we will see you later. We love you, bye. Love you, bye.